Hi everyone, it's Miss Bowie. I miss you guys a lot and I wish we could be at school right now but we're going to make the best of a situation and we're still going to learn about art and you're still going to have an art assignment and you're going to do the best that you can with what you have at home. I don't have everything here at home either and I understand that you may not have the same supplies as me but you're just going to do your best and um, we'll make it work with what we have. So before we left for the break we were learning about primary colors. We were learning about primary colors and primary colors are special because they are the three colors that make up all the other colors. So just to review, to kind of think, 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 what are the primary colors? So the primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. We have red, yellow, and blue. And again, these colors are special because they cannot be made and we use these colors to make other colors. So now we're actually going to use these colors to make other colors which are called secondary colors. Everyone say secondary! So. So we're, the new thing that we're learning about is secondary colors and you're actually going to get to see me mix paint in order to see what the colors make. So the first thing we're going to try is we're going to try yellow and red. So I want you to make a guess. What do you think, or a hypothesis, what do you think red and yellow will make? So I'll put a little box here. So what do you think red and yellow will make? And I'm going to actually mix red and yellow paint so that you guys can see it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of red and then I'm gonna do a little bit of yellow. And whenever I pour out yellow paint, you guys always say, it looks like mustard. It does look like mustard. So I'm gonna take my Q-tip and then I'm going to go ahead and mix this and we're going to see what red and yellow make. And really if we were at school then you guys would get to do this as well and hopefully we'll be back soon. Um, but so red and yellow make, if you guys can see it coming, it makes orange. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to paint up here and hopefully it doesn't go onto the pantry door. Red and yellow make orange. So that's orange, and I'm gonna write that down for you. The next one we're gonna try is we're gonna try yellow and blue. Yellow plus blue equals what? What do you think yellow and blue make? Take a guess. And it's okay if your guess or your hypothesis is wrong, as long as you you try. I think that's all I really want you to do. So we're going to do some yellow. Do some yellow and then we're going to do some blue. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my Q-tip. Hopefully you guys can see. Yellow and blue make, or yellow and mustard. Yellow and blue make green and I want to put this up here and again hopefully it doesn't go down my pantry door. Mr. Wynn would not be happy with me. Okay. That's green. So I'll go ahead and I'll write in green. So yellow and blue make green. And some of your parents may be at home with you right now, which is nice. And some of them may still be working, like Mr. Wynn. And um, hopefully everyone is safe and you guys are enjoying your time at home. And the last one that we're going to try to do is we're going to do red and blue. Blue plus red. A 
let's see. So I'm going to take blue plus red. And we're going to see what that makes. I'm going to try a little bit of red. I'm going to get my Q-tip and I'm going to mix. Hopefully the other paint does not fall and drip on me. So hopefully you guys can see that. But here, let me show it. So if you guys see it over here, you guys can see that it's purple. Okay, so again, I'm gonna mix this. And I've been, I've been lucky so far that it hasn't dripped, but hopefully it stays that way. So now we have blue and red equals purple. So, we know our primary colors, we know our secondary colors. Now, your mission, should you choose to accept it, and again, I understand that you may not have everything here that I have at home, and that's absolutely okay. So, if you have paint, or if you have watercolors, or your parents might have some food coloring, and you guys can mix primary colors to get secondary colors, I want everyone to remember their primary colors. So to do that, you guys are gonna go on a scavenger hunt. Now this part I think everybody can do. So everybody, if you can do the secondary color part, definitely do it. Now, if you can't, then I want you to try to, to then I want everyone to do the primary color part because the primary color part is what you can do. So you're gonna go on a primary color scavenger hunt. And after, so you're gonna find three items one item that is mainly red, one item that is mainly yellow, and one item that is mainly blue. You'll go and you'll find all three items. You'll get all three items and then you're gonna take a picture. So you'll have mom or dad take a picture and then they can email me or they can um, find me on Instagram and they can tag me and I will repost that picture and if they email me, I'll also put that on, on Instagram as well. Now they don't have to send me the picture, but if they do, I'll, I'll definitely share it because I think um, it's a way for us to stay connected. It's a way for, for me to see you. And later on, you're gonna be creating some art, but right now we're gonna start off very easily. And I want everyone to just go on a scavenger hunt. So for a year, I'm gonna share the three items in my house. So I went on the scavenger hunt too. I'm gonna share the three items in my house that um, that I would that I'm going to do. So for red, I found strawberries, which are a very nice and healthy snack. So that's my red item, and I'm gonna take my picture with that. Red. Um, my next item are lemon Oreos, and they're kind of half eaten. But so this is, and again. There's red, there's blue on here, but it, we're looking for mainly yellow, okay? Mainly the primary colors. It's okay if there's other colors. That's, I'm, I'm not going to be a stickler for that. So this is my yellow item, and then I was looking for a blue item. And so for my blue item, I found a little itty-bitty tiny Astros cap. And this is actually, Mr. Wynn got it for me when he went to an Astros game, and, and this, they serve ice cream in here, and he, he, he washed it out and came home with it and gave it to me. So... So you're going to find your three primary color items on your scavenger hunt. And then you're going to get mom and dad to take a picture for you. And I'm just going to take a selfie. But um, hopefully you have somebody at home with you so that you can take your selfie. Okay. And so I took my selfie. And if your parents want to, they don't have to, but if they want to, they can either email me the photo or they can tag me, they can post it and they can tag me on Instagram. My Instagram is Mrs. Bowie Art, so that's M-R-S-B-U-I-A-R-T. And I will repost it and hopefully we can all stay connected. And um, eventually I'm gonna give you guys some assignments regarding art and you guys will have to create some assignments. And um, again, I'll post that because I'm missing your art, I'm missing you, and this is a way for us to stay connected, even though that we have to practice social distancing. And I hope to see you guys really soon. Um, please look for my next lesson and I'll try to create these as, as fast as I possibly can. I'm gonna try to do one a week if I can do more, I will definitely do more. We'll have read-alouds, we'll have other assignments, and I miss you and I hope to see you soon.